Okay, um, let's move on to the next lesson. Um, it's 16e, 16f. It's finding the derivative of sine, cosine, e to the x, ln of x, and your basic logarithms. So, <coughs> this is a really complex way of, of proving the derivative of sine of x. Some of you have already looked it up, maybe you've looked ahead, you know what the derivative, but let's take a simpler approach. So what I'd like you to do is, um, I'm gonna pause the video, I'd like you to um, make a sketch of a sine wave. Um, you know, a little from, so I'm gonna make a sketch of y equals sine of x from like zero to, to four pi, and make it a, a little bit before like zero. Put it on pause. Okay, welcome back. So the sketch looks something like this. Here's your sine wave. Here's zero to two pi. Here's the second cycle. Once again, it's a sketch. It's not the best. And I'm gonna move, make the graph a little bit before zero. So the question is, um, what is the derivative of sine? Now, my metaphor, I'm constantly harping on this metaphor, is, is this the slope of the tangent, the surfboard. So let's put some surfboards in. Now, once again, let's label our graph. This is, does this work? Yeah, this is zero. 90, 180, 270, 360, 450, 540, 630, 720, 4 pi. You know how to do degrees radians. I'm gonna stick some surfboards. Let's see what happens. So, here's a surfboard. 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 So I'm gonna write the slopes in. What do you think the slope is? I'll take you to the second. What do you think? Once again, it's a sketch. Okay, welcome back. The slope here is one. The slope here is zero. The slope here is negative one. The slope here is zero. And the slope here is one. Where have I seen that pattern before? That's right, it's cosine. So it turns out that if y equals sine of x, the derivative is cosine of x. That's kind of cool. Once again, we're gonna come up, we're gonna discuss a much more complex method when I see, because it's gonna take like 30 minutes on the board. I wanna get through this quickly. Um, the, if the function, the, the function is cosine, you can do the same thing with cosine. Pause the video, try it on your own. You'll discover that the derivative is negative sine of x. Um, yeah. Next, e to the x. So an example I might give, once again, the examples are very basic, like y equals five sine x minus one third cos, plus one third cosine x. So what's the derivative? dy dx equals five cosine x minus one third sine x. In future classes, we're gonna talk about what's going on when it's not x, but like three x, or five x minus two, or like x to the third. Okay, um, let's move on. So we took care of sine, we took care of cosine. Um, e to the x, e to the x is kind of cool because e to the, the derivative, uh, let me make it darker, you may not be able to see. The derivative is itself. That's why e to the x is really important. e to the x, the derivative is e to the x. So if I give you y equals 10 e to the x, the derivative is actually 10 e to the x. Okay, we're not gonna talk about the y. We'll talk about that a little bit later. We need some more advanced calculus to talk about that. Next, ln of x. Now, I once was just gonna tell you what the derivative was, but I said, wait a minute, we can figure this out by inspection. It's not the best mathematical method. We're gonna use, I think, unit 18C or 18D to figure that out. But, you know, just by observation, we can figure this out. So let's make quickly make a sketch of the ln of x. So we know, I'll take you, uh, put the video on pause. Welcome back. Um, so we know that, ln of x, this is the function, 
and once again I'll ask you to put in some, some surfboards and see what's happening. So here's some surfboards. Why don't you put some surfboards in? Pause the video. Welcome back. Surfboard, surfboard, slope of the tangent, slope the surfboard, surfboard. Let's extend this out, right? Surfboard, surfboard. What's going on with those surfboards? So you say, oh, well, what, what do you think? Yeah, exactly. They seem to be approaching zero. The slope seems to be approaching zero. Well, we've seen that function before. That's like the asymptote. Ah, so it turns out you are correct. So if the, the function is ln of x, the derivative is one over x. It's kind of cool. Once again, this is not very rigorous, but we'll get there. So if I say the function is five ln of x, the derivative is five over x. And then the last thing I just wanna talk about is the, the general logarithm. So let's go back to black ink. So if I look at y equals um, log of any, any base b, how do I figure out the derivative? Well, we recall from our logarithms unit um, that we can, any suggestions? Can we change the basis and say, yeah. So I'm gonna rewrite this as log base e of x over log base b, no, base e of b. And then I can simply write this function now as ln of x over ln of b. Well, ln of x is simply ln of x. ln of b is just a number. It's no different than this problem. You know, right here, it's the five or one fifth or something. So therefore, the derivative is simply one over x ln of b. So an example I might give is, I'm not even sure if this shows up on the AV exam, but you know how to deal with this. So if y equals, um, how about the, how about the, the how about, uh, seven times the natural, uh, the common log, so you would say, okay, final answer, seven over x ln of 10. That's it, we're done. What is it, 16e, 16f.